one of the hopeful things that I've discovered is that nearly every war that has started in the past 50 years has been a result of media lies. The media could have stopped it if they had searched deep enough, if they hadn't um, reprinted government propaganda, they could have stopped it. But what does that mean? Well, that means basically populations don't like wars. And populations have to be fooled into wars. Populations don't willingly and op with open eyes go into a war. So if we have a good media environment, then we'll also have a peaceful environment. Well, our number one enemy is ignorance. Um, and I believe that is the number one enemy of everyone, uh, is not understanding what is actually going on in the world. It's only when you start to understand that you can make effective decisions and effective plans. Now, the question is, who is promoting ignorance? Well, those organisations that try to keep things secret, um, and those organisations which distort true information to make it false or misrepresentative. In this latter category, um, it is bad media. Um, it, it really is my, my opinion that the media in general are so bad, um, we would have to question whether the world wouldn't be better off without them altogether. Um, there's some very, very fine journalists, um, and we work with many of them and some fine media organisations, but the vast majority are awful and are so distortive to how the world actually is um, that the result is we see um, wars and we see corrupt governments continue on.